The 2025 Type 10 Army tank represents the next evolution of modern armored warfare, and while it might seem like a strange fit for a car review channel, here at Car Review, we're always exploring the limits of engineering, design, and raw performance, no matter the number of wheels or weapons on board. Let's start with what makes this tank different. Built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, the Type 10 isn't just a simple upgrade from its predecessor, the Type 90. It's a complete redesign with the goal of creating a lighter, faster, and more agile battle tank that fits Japan's unique defense needs. The 2025 model introduces several enhancements that take all those characteristics and push them even further. At first glance, the Type 10 maintains its angular, low silhouette profile, making it harder to detect and target on the battlefield. But beneath that sharp, compact exterior is a serious leap in capability. The armor system on the 2025 version is modular, which means sections can be swapped out or upgraded depending on the mission. This makes maintenance easier and adds flexibility to the battlefield role of the tank. It can go from a heavily armored frontline tank to a lightweight rapid response unit with just a few adjustments. Powering the Type 10 is a compact V8 diesel engine capable of producing 1,200 horsepower. That's a lot of punch for a vehicle that weighs around 40 tons, significantly lighter than most Western main battle tanks. This lower weight contributes to a top speed of about 70 km per hour on road and impressive off road mobility. In terms of acceleration, the Type 10 is one of the fastest tanks in service, making it a standout in terms of agility. And let's talk transmission. This tank features a continuously variable transmission, or CVT, which is practically unheard of in the armored vehicle world. It allows for smooth power delivery and enhances the tank's ability to navigate difficult terrain without jerky transitions or excessive wear on the drivetrain. For us at Car Review, this is where automotive tech and military innovation really meet. The engineering precision that goes into a CVT capable of handling this kind of torque and weight is seriously impressive. The firepower is no less advanced. The Type 10's main gun is a domestically developed 120mm smoothbore cannon, compatible with NATO ammunition but also capable of firing Japan's proprietary smart rounds. These rounds can be programmed to detonate at specific distances or after penetration, giving the tank an edge in both conventional and urban combat. Paired with an advanced fire control system that includes automatic target tracking, ballistic calculation, and even some AI-assisted aiming tech, it's a serious threat on any battlefield. In 2025, one of the biggest updates comes in the form of integrated battlefield connectivity. The Type 10 now supports real-time data sharing between units, drones, and command centers. This means that crews inside the tank are more aware of their surroundings than ever before. They're not operating in isolation, they're part of a moving, thinking, adapting network of battlefield intelligence. Inside, the crew environment has also seen upgrades. While still utilitarian, the 2025 Type 10 offers better ergonomics, more compact and intuitive controls, and enhanced situational awareness thanks to 360-degree camera systems and improved digital displays. For tank operators, it's as close as it gets to a seamless human-machine interface in a vehicle designed to survive and dominate high-stakes combat. Of course, this wouldn't be car review without talking a little about the ride feel. Obviously, it's not your average luxury vehicle, but for what it is, a main battle tank, it rides. Remarkably well. Hydropneumatic suspension allows each wheel to be adjusted individually, enabling the Type 10 to kneel, lean, or raise itself depending on terrain and combat needs. This not only improves comfort but also gives it a tactical edge in taking cover or setting up shots from unconventional angles. In terms of production and deployment, the 2025 Type 10 remains exclusive to Japan, aligning with the country's strict defense export laws. But its influence on global tank design is undeniable. Other nations are looking closely at Japan's approach, building smarter, more agile tanks that use connectivity, speed, and precision rather than just sheer armor. To wrap it up, the 2025 Type 10 isn't just a tool of war, it's a statement about where military technology is heading. Lightweight, tech-forward, and highly mobile, it's a fascinating vehicle even from an automotive engineering perspective. Whether you're into tanks, trucks, or supercars, the Type 10 delivers a masterclass in how design, performance, and purpose can come together. Thanks for watching Car Review. 
If you enjoyed this deep dive into something a bit different, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if there's another military machine you'd like us to break down. See you in the next one.